Hey guys, going on this space here, and as you can tell, we are doing something different today. This is the very first episode of something new that I might be doing every so often. So let me know what you think about this uh, in the comment sections below. If you want to see more of this, then uh, let me know, because I'd be more than happy to do uh, some more stuff like this. So today we are doing space reviews. Now uh, I actually didn't have really a video planned for today, which is Thursday, of course. I was usually going to play Unturned. It is a uh, it's a pretty fun game, but I decided to save that for some other time. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing something new. I call it space reviews, and today, as you see by the picture, we are reviewing the Lego Harry Potter Years One through Four game. Now you might be wondering, space, why the heck are you reviewing this? Well. Because I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually just recently replayed it, and I defeated it uh, last week Sunday. So, yeah. Or, no. Two weeks ago? I don't know. Something like that. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get started with some facts and what the game is about before I start talking about the actual gameplay mechanics and some other stuff like that. So, it is Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 based off of the books slash movies, more like the movies because it doesn't like add stuff from the books, so like stuff that was in the books that, weren't in, that wasn't in the movies, so it's based off the movies. <clears throat> and it uh, of course goes through uh, years 1 through 4 of Harry Potter. There's a Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire. So, this game came out back in June 29th, 2010, five years old, and uh, in uh, the U.S. at least, it is a TT Games game, it is also a uh, Warner Brothers game, you see right there, and it is rated E10, also as you can see there. It was released on the PS3, the Wii, the Xbox 360, Windows, the DS, PS2, the Mac, and the uh, PlayStation Portable, or PSP. So that is basically all the information they have for the game. So let's go ahead and talk about basically the story. So if you aren't familiar with the story of Harry Potter, I'm sure most of you are, it's basically uh, a boy named Harry. Uh, I won't go too much into the details, but he finds out that he's a wizard, so he goes to this uh, school called Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardly, wizardry and he gets trained in uh, the magical ways and you get to basically go through his adventure at Hogwarts which is awesome so gameplay mechanics now there are a lot of new stuff that was introduced into this game that they actually recently just used for the Lego Jurassic World game there is a uh, potions brewing thing that was introduced in this game which is amazing you have to find ingredients it shows a uh, pot a potion pot here hold on all right anyways i couldn't find a picture of uh, what it looks like but anyways you basically you just brew in the game like there is a uh cauldron and there are ingredients above it and you have to find each ingredient now the most common one you'll find throughout the game is the strength potion which i've memorized from the countless times it is used there's also other ones such as invisibility potion um I don't really remember the other ones, but the main two are the invisibility potion. Oh, there's an aging potion as well, which makes you older. And there's a polyjuice potion, which uh, makes it so you can change into different people. Like the characters that you unlock, if you drink that, you can change into those characters. I thought it was really cool. And uh, so the strength potion, it uses a uh, dragon berry. It's like a or fang berry. It's like a berry with a fang in it, and it's uh, pinkish. Uh, a uh, fang, which is like a white cone, and then a uh, skeleton arm. So yeah, really cool mechanic, I like that a lot. And of course, being that it is a magical school, there are spells. Uh, throughout the years, you learn different spells. You can also buy spells in Daigon Alley, uh, like in the movies and books. You can uh, buy spells such as Accio, the most expensive one, which goes for, uh, I believe, a million studs. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. Like each year you learn at least one new spell. Some years you learn more than one. So yeah. And there are basic spells as well that you know. And it's pretty cool. And you can switch between the spells and stuff of course. You can change characters. There are so many characters. I don't even know how many there are. There are just tons of characters. 
And yeah, so now I'm going to talk about basically like the levels and stuff. So yeah. So uh, the levels all in all aren't too hard. They're a lot of fun. I found uh, sometimes it takes a little thinking to get past the levels or sometimes a little confusing. But I guarantee you'll probably get through it. So yeah, not too hard. And a lot of fun all in all. And you can free roam around Hogwarts Castle and you won't get lost uh, during the missions because uh, Sir Nicholas is a uh, ghost. He will uh, show you the way to where you need to go. So you don't have to worry about getting lost or trying to find stuff. And uh, yeah, there aren't really any side missions. There's stuff that you can do that... Uh, like, just different stuff. There aren't really any side missions. Uh, most LEGO games don't have side missions anyway, so... Uh, but you can explore Hogwarts Castle. You get rewarded. There's uh, students in peril, which are students that you save. And uh, yeah, it counts towards your... Uh, overall score like uh, once you defeat the game 100% you have to get all the students and stuff and there are characters now here's the thing that I like about this game a lot <clears throat> hmm, sorry so it doesn't just straight up give you the characters like in say Lego Star Wars it just gives you all the characters you just have to play through the levels just to get the characters and yeah in this one you have to actually get the little piece uh, it's like this circle with a picture of the character in it. So you have to actually look around through each level. There could be a character. There most likely will be a character in each level. I guarantee there's at least one in each level. And there are so many different characters. And sometimes you can't get them all going through the first time playing story mode. So you have to go back. So it's an uh, incentive to go back. And there are... Uh, if you've ever played any Lego game and you know about the mini kits, like the uh, little floaty things that you have to get and uh, if you get 10 of them you unlock something like it's a little set thing at least in uh, Lego Star Wars but um, there are those it's smaller there are only four of them they're called house crests now the uh, Hogwarts symbol has four little pieces to it a uh, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw piece and in each level you'll find one of those around and there are some levels that aren't actually levels. That uh, It's basically just like a lesson that like, teaches you how to use the spell and stuff, which I thought was really cool, so you know what to do. And then it challenges you afterwards, because you have to use that spell most of the time after you do that lesson. So, yeah, it's really cool. <clears throat> hmm. Like I said, I just recently defeated it, so this is all fresh in my mind. And, yeah. Now, the final boss, you have to fight Voldemort in the graveyard, like in uh, the end of episode four or uh, years four year four and uh it's not really that hard i mean it's not like it's not the best boss fight but it it's still kind of fun it's not really that hard so yeah and uh yeah i thought one thing that i kind of didn't like was that year four seemed to go by a lot faster than all the other years it seemed to be a faster pace and they missed uh, some parts I mean, you can't put everything into the game, but I kind of wish that they put the uh, ball room scene. I would have liked to see that, but they didn't do that, so yeah. It pretty much just jumps from the second task. There's, why did I say it like that? The second task to uh, it's like a little uh, mini level ish thing. It's really easy with Myrtle. And uh, it goes into the third task, which is the final level of the game. And yeah, now there's actually some other stuff you can do as well. If you've ever played any of the Lego Star Wars games, you know of the uh, secret rooms with the, uh, once you get all the, like a couple, not a couple, like a certain amount of golden bricks, which is what you get for completing a level, or uh, getting like the amount of studs that needed to be for a true wizard. That just means that you got a lot of money and it like just <laughs> rewards you. Yeah. And um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's rooms in Gringotts, it's the bank, the wizarding bank. You go in there, it's uh, the building towards the, it's like right at the end of Diagon Alley. Uh, you'll notice it. And when you go in there, there will be uh, characters of course that you can unlock. And there's also a room, I think it's called like Creator or something, where you can roam around and like do some random stuff. It's really fun. I don't really know how to explain it, you just have to try it out for yourself. So yeah, that's about it with the review, basically everything I talked about. Uh, not really anything else. The cutscenes are pretty funny. There's funny parts in it. There's some a little serious stuff, but most of it's pretty funny and just fun and all around great game. 
So now I'm going to get on to basically, I guess, my rating. So uh, here's a couple other ratings. GameSpot gave it uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, Common Sense Media gave it a 5 out of 5. So what is my rating for this? I'd have to say I'd give it like a 9 or 10. It's just a very fun game. And uh, if I do do more reviews, if you like this, guys, let me know. So that's about it for this review. And I, next time I'll be doing uh, years 5 through 7. Once I get that defeated, uh, I'm not quite done yet. So I started yesterday, so yeah. And not rushing either. I'm just enjoying the game. So once again, let me know what you think about these reviews. If you don't like them, then feel free to tell me. I won't get my feelings hurt. I mean, yeah. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.